Welcome back to Vlatlix. You guys asked me how to set up a home bar and I think right now it's just perfect time for that. So today I will show you the best way how you should start investing into your home bar. Okay, when you start investing into your home bar, you need to consider three different categories. First, bar tools. Second, spirit choice. And third, non-alcoholic ingredients such as mixers and fresh fruits. If you follow my devices from this video, you will be able to make all kind of cocktails, including the most popular classic ones. Okay, let's get it started. First, you need ice tongs. You fill up your glasses and shake it with ice. You also can use ice scoop, but at home, I would recommend to use tongs. It's, for example, easier to get ice from the bucket. Next, we will need cutting board and bar knife, so you can make all kind of garnishes. If you're not comfortable with bar knife, or if it's too small for you, uh, no biggie, you can just use regular kitchen knife. Next you need muddler, I wouldn't recommend to get a wooden one, so this one is pretty good quality, it's heavy. We will need it to muddle fruits, also sugar with beater, it's a really good tool to have in your bar set. This is my choice of jiggers, both really affordable, I personally prefer to have the Japanese one, but uh, this one is really nice as well, it's easier to pour in, uh, at the same time easier to spill when you fill it up to the top, but the Japanese is just so stylish and feels really good in hands. Next, you will need a mixing glass, so don't get a big one. This is just regular 17 ounces. Get long bar spoons so you can stir drinks in this mixing glass. There are options 12, 16, and 20 inches, but if you're a beginner and then just started mixing drinks, I wouldn't recommend to get a long one, so just get a regular one and perfect this uh, technique of stirring. There are no difference between these spoons, I just like to use the long one because it looks better and it's a little bit easier to spin in my fingers. If you guys watching cocktail videos in this channel, you already know that I really like to use clear ice cubes and to make them easy at home, I would recommend to get this clear ice cube tray and I just made video three ways to make clear ice at home so you can check it out. And it's not just visual part of course, clear ice dilutes a lot slower so your quality of cocktails a lot higher. For your home shaker, you can use cobbler shaker or Boston. For multiple reasons, I prefer to have the second one. First, there is only two parts, so it's easier and faster to use. Second reason, when I'm making shake and drinks, I like to fill it up with ice, then put chili shaker on top so it can be chilled. And it doesn't work like that with the European cobbler shaker. This is just my preference and I'm informing you, but I know that a lot of you will find more useful to use three pieces shaker. Oh, and almost forgot to mention that another great benefit of using Boston, that instead of small chili shaker, you can just use glass. It's convenient when you build a drink, you can see all the ingredients that goes into your cocktail. 16 ounces glass will fit perfectly. Pretty sure you already have shaker at home, so just let me know which one do you prefer to use. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Next you need lemon lime squeezer and this one cost to me only like a few dollars, so I wouldn't recommend to get the expensive one because it does job just perfectly. Here I have a julep strainer, throw-in strainer and fine strainer and you actually need all of them. Julep goes on top of the mixing glass to strain your stirred cocktails. You can use one hand or both but uh, we'll talk about this in another video. Throw-in strainer fits so perfectly in the Boston shaker, but here you will need to hold everything in one hand because in your other hand, you will have a fine strainer. So none of the pieces of uh, crushed ice or fruits will get into your cocktail. Let me show it to you real quick how to use it. You should have one peeler so you can make a lot of different fruit zest from lemons, oranges, and you'll be using it in a lot of different cocktails. Wouldn't hurt to have a wine key, even if you don't have wine right now, sooner or later your friends will bring you a bottle or two. I also would like to mention some glassware, so you should have a couple rocks glasses, a couple cocktail glasses, well, depends on how many people drinking. And as you see, I keep some in the freezer small highball glass and let's save some turtles so let's use metal straws now to the boozy part so you should have one bottle of bourbon and one bottle of scotch and by the way you don't have to buy right away premium expensive brands get bottle of gin i personally really like hendrix because it tastes so good with tonic but you also should consider a couple brands like blue cod gin and bombay get bottle of vodka well not that size you can just get normal size bottle <laughs> silver or gold rum Tequila if you like to make more videos and mezcal if you for example want to try mezcal negroni. I didn't really want to mention this one, but since we're talking about margarita, you will need one bottle of Cointreau, triple sec, or Grand Marnier. Absolutely must have one bottle of Angostura Peters, 
make sure to get a small bottle because it's still gonna last for a really long time even if you drink quite often. Next, Sweden Dry Vermouth, one bottle of each. And last on our spirit list would be one bottle of Campari. I wouldn't recommend to get any of this right now unless you want specific cocktail like White Russian or Aperol Spritz because it will get a um, little expensive. Our next category, non-alcoholic ingredients, of course starts with fresh fruits. You always should have plenty of lemons, limes and oranges. One bottle of simple syrup or you can just simply mix hot water with sugar, half and half and store it in a bottle. Must have few bottles of premium mixers, so make sure to have tonic, ginger beer and soda water. If you think right now there is too much to buy, you don't have to get everything. You can for example just start with one bottle of vodka, try to make over and over Moscow Mule, get comfortable with all the tools and then just maybe replace bottle of vodka with bourbon and that already will be Kentucky Mule. Then with the same bourbon you start mixing and perfecting old fashioned cocktail. Make few of them, then move to another ingredients, get a couple more bottles from the list and start making Negronis, Boulevardia cocktail. And when you need inspiration, go visit some nice cocktail bars, see how bartenders working, get inspired, try some new cocktails and try to recreate them at home. And don't forget that all the spirits that we listed in this video, you can just drink neat or on a rock, so you don't always have to mix cocktails. I wanted to do part two where I explain to you more about advanced tools and ingredients that we use for crafted cocktails, but please let me know in the comments if you guys would be interested to watch such video. Thank you guys for watching and as always I would ask you just one thing, please send it to someone who likes to make and drink cocktails at home, hit the like button, subscribe to become super bartender and I'll see you in the next video.